so um, good to be back on the, on the winning side of things. And, and what, what did you kind of learn from that, that little road trip to, to uh, carry over into Friday? Well, number one, I think the players learned that they can do it, um, you know, because they've had it to where several times we're kind of cruising, we've got the win, and uh, then a penalty kick is called against us, and now we go into a draw. That's what happened to us last Thursday against LSU. Um, similarly, we have a penalty kick called against us with five minutes to go in the match, and this time, though, they pulled it out. They said it ain't going to happen again. And you can tell by the, uh, by the re response of the players after the match, just the energy that, you know, kind of came out of out – of, almost an exasperation of yes if we can we can do this because you know I think our team and the team we're going to play on Friday are both significantly better than our records but now we're both in a, in a good way we're both winning games and uh it just makes it where this Friday is an even bigger match for as much trouble as y'all had at points in the season from that clinical finish good to see Miley getting that SEC offensive player of the 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 week award and what that means for the confidence yeah it's big for us for for Miley to be playing with confidence and she is playing with confidence you know to get gets two goals and assist on the weekend you know great one touch goal in both games so you know she's playing efficiently right now she's really good at bringing other people into the game and not trying to do everything herself and that's you know for a young player for a sophomore that's that's it's, you can see the maturity growing in her and the confidence of her teammates around her because of that maturity Well, Miley, Miley or whoever is in our stri striker position, whether it's um, Makai McDonald or Jai Smith, um, you know, they're always going to be kind of the, the tip of the spear for us on the attack, but they're also going to be our first defender. So as soon as we lose the ball, if we lose the ball in the attacking third, then you pretty much can guarantee that those guys are going to be on you. And really, if you think about especially Miley and, and, uh, and Jai, I mean, they're like piranhas going after the ball. So it's, it's fun to watch. I'm sure it's not fun to play against. But for us, it, it sets the tone of, of what the pressure is going to be, and then the rest of the team can step up and, and match up whoever they need to get against. Now it's been it, the fact that it's October and still 90 degrees doesn't feel like there's four games left in the season, but these are four big games for us. So hopefully it's not four games left in the season. Hopefully we can take care of our business and it's just the start of a of a long run for us. Uh, what, what did y'all, to whatever degree you're able to, uh, just talk about in that brief time after the penalty kick before the goal uh, that you guys had at Ole Miss? Just what, what was that sort of, I guess, conversation like? Things you were trying to. Well, just our thing was just, you know, to believe in yourselves that you can do this. You've been you've been playing on the front foot. You've played this team really well all game long. We've possessed the ball. We've created chances. We outshot them, I think, 10 to 2. So, you know, it's going to come. You just got to keep working at it, got to keep working at it, clean up those little touches and, and we'll make it happen. And it really came down to, in the end, it came down to desire. And uh, Phil Stevenson, as associate head coach, talked about at halftime, that one of the things that was going to determine this game was going to be winning free balls inside the six-yard box. And that's exactly what Carlina Sample did and then made a nice little pass into a, a really narrow window to uh, Miley Hayes, who, who finished it off for the winner. Were you encouraged last week uh, to see kind of a little combination of just some, some high-class goals? I don't know, like Sydney's against LSU and then, you know, a couple of kind of workman goals, like that, that, that game winner against Ole Miss, just kind of a, a blend of both. Well, I'm real, I'm, I'm real enthused about the way we're attacking because I think we've, we've had to make some adjustments. You know, one of the adjustments that's worked out really well for us is having both Sidney Becerra and Carissa Beckman both on the, on the same line instead of tag teaming for each other. It's twice the problems for our opponents. They're both players that have a lot of flair and they can both turn the game around just with, with a couple touches themselves. The other thing is, you know, you see now Kate Colvin really starting to take off. Mia Pante's always been hot for us. And then with Miley playing hot, you know, as, as she is as the SEC Offensive Player of the Week, um, we feel real good. I mean, we've had a lot of trouble scoring goals for a long time, but right now, and it's going to be hard to score against Auburn, they don't give up many goals. But right now we, we feel pretty good about the way that we're playing.